Okay, let's try this again. I'm using my computer and I, uh, to do the video, and I hadn't done that in a while. And anyway, I noticed that uh, the videos that I make for, from the computer, they upload faster than the ones from my cell phone. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm doing good, you guys. Just resting, resting, resting. I'm still the one arm bandit around here. That's, it's going to be a while before I could even use this hand and arm like I want to, but I'm getting better. At least I can raise it up. Uh, probably my length of my breast without much pain. So, but I do my exercises here at the house. So, that's okay. I don't have to do anything. I can't drive and all that stuff. So, but I'm doing better. I want to talk a little bit about. <clears throat> And, you know, I've mentioned this lady that I uh, named Gertrude, Gertrude Mache. This woman is <laughs> the most amazing woman I've met because I don't care how bad her circumstances are. She never, never gives up. She's just like the ever ready bunny. The battery in her just goes, goes, goes. And she, uh, came to live with me in 1998, and she worked in my shop doing a few things. It was during the Christmas holidays. And she lived with me, too, so we became great friends, and she had, and she was from Zimbabwe, but she had left her children in the care of her husband, their father, to come to America to raise money because Zim, Zim was getting into a, a bad place so the opportunities so she oh my god she came to work with me but she was going around in a circuit the art circuit Atlanta art circuit and selling her wares she made beautiful batiste and artwork and she had many statues and just a whole she had brought a whole container of goods from Africa. So that's how much she sold and peddled around the country. But she came to my shop and after Christmas, we began to work on some of the things that she wanted to sell in the, uh, the, the uh, sales thing was coming to Dallas. So she wanted to make some good things for her show. But anyway... She was staying with me. There were times at night when she would get just really, oh, in such a bad shape because she missed her children. I, I, I know how she could. Her children were like, oh, seven, five, and two, something like that. The baby was two years old. I know you miss your baby. You miss all your kids. And I tried my best to keep her and confident, keep her spirits up, but you need your children. A mother does. So, and I had forgot that I did told her about this uh, meditation. Hold on, let me put this on pause, okay? <laughs> I'm back. Uh, had a long conversation, but my sister, we were talking Shit, I got to remember what I was talking about. I was talking about Gertrude and how she was missing her kids. So this particular night, I told her, I said, you can go see your children, Gertrude. I'll, I'll show you how to do some remote viewing and relax yourself. And I told her how to do it. And I went to bed. And... Uh, the next morning, she told me, she said, Mary, Mary, that remote, remote viewing or whatever it was you did, told me to do it worked. She said, I saw my children last night. All three of them were sleeping in the bed together, and my baby, Doomy, was in the middle. And she was just so happy, happy, happy. So we went to work and had a good day, and Later on that evening, she said, Mary, I'm going to call my babies. Because she, she would call them probably twice a week like that. And so she called uh, Zimbabwe and 
after she got off the phone, she came to me. Well, I talked to the kids, too. They called me Auntie Mary. Auntie Mary, they're just little babies. And they couldn't wait to come to America. But after, the, after, the, after Gertrude got off the phone with them, she told me, she said, Mary, you, you won't believe it, but my oldest son told me that he had a dream. That I came in their room and was looking at them. He said, Mom, Mom, that's what they said. Mama was so glad to see you. And so she put it together that when she did that remote viewing, she was connecting with her oldest son because he saw her in his dreams. He saw her looking at them. And she was just amazed. So she said, Mary, so that means you could do that anytime you want. I said, yeah, you can just go and do a remote viewing. I said, and even sometimes you can just go in and see what people are doing. You know, I mean, you might see some stuff you don't want to see, but you can do it. And she, I think she might have wanted to learn how to do it. I think we talked about it a little bit more, but. We did have a good time when she was here, but she's been doing different uh, panels and things and TED Talks. She, she does them. She's just known all over the world. I tell you, when you look at her on her Facebook page, there's people are everywhere, all over. Gertrude has traveled. And I'm so happy that she invited me uh, Sunday to talk on her be interviewed by her women. I really enjoyed it. And with the pandemic being here, nobody can travel. But if I was well like I used to be, I'd probably go back and go visit her. And she's remarried now. And her husband is from Poland. And she's, oh, the wedding. He gave her the most outstanding wedding in Poland. There are a lot of castles in Poland, and she was married at this beautiful castle. They dressed her up like a queen. It's, as uh, She has face paint on, and just she's just beautiful. Man, I'm going to try to see if I can upload the pictures of her wedding. But we can find her on Facebook, Get You My Shape. But in my description box, I'm going to put how you can find her, and even that interview that we did. It was a very long interview, but I'm glad I was talking first because it's about three hours long, and I think I talked maybe 45 minutes at the first of the video, and the second woman, she, oh man, she was from Rome. Her story was amazing, but, excuse <coughs> me, there you go again. Mm, I'm so sorry. But, bless you. <laughs> but, uh, if you can, watch the first 30 minutes, 45 minutes of that video, and you'll see what we're talking about. And, how I'm going to get off of here. You guys just keep, keep chucking, and we know we're living in some dangerous time, but I'm so glad. I prayed, and I prayed, and I prayed, and I said, God, those people who are held hostage in Haiti, I just said, wow, do something, and the people are free, thank you, thank you, thank you, so, and I know everybody all over the world were praying for these people, and thank God, they made it out of their state, but anyway, we have to remember that prayer does work, okay? So I'm, uh, be sure to look at this in my description box, and I'll tell you more about Gary Truth, okay? <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.